What is up, travel lovers? Bienvenidos and welcome to Spain. This is episode five on my special hiking the Camino de Santiago, the Northern Way, or what they're calling the Camino del Norte. This video is going to include days 21 through 25, starting here in Aviles and making it, hopefully, to La Caridad. So, let's get hiking. On day 21, I would leave Aviles and arrive to Muros de Nalón covering roughly 22.6 kilometers and approximately 200 meters of elevation. It was a shame that I couldn't stay longer in Aviles, as from what I saw leaving the city, it would have been amazing to spend some more time discovering the little alleyways and historical architecture. In just a few kilometers, I came upon a beautiful expansive beach, one of the longest in Asturias in fact, called Playa San Juan de Nieva. As I walked all the way to the end, I just dove deeper into my mind, contemplating all the nuances of life. Continuing on the Camino, I enjoyed 12 kilometers of beautiful dense forests with intermittent small villages until I came upon El Castillo. This medieval castle acted as a main fortification to protect from intruders coming in from the coast. From here, it was only a short four kilometers to my final destination. Muros de Nalón. A quick look at the city during sunset provided a wonderful treat to finish the day. On day 22, I would leave Muros de Nalón and arrive to Soto de Luña, covering roughly 16 kilometers and approximately 200 meters of elevation. Overall, today was a short day, so I took my time enjoying the lush forests that followed in the next few kilometers. After about four kilometers, I would come upon a town called El Pito, which was home to La Quinta, peeking into the Palacio de Selgas, and passing by the Iglesia de Jesus Nazareno de Piñera. Not long after, I would be back at the coast, enjoying the views from above as I headed down through the villages and crossed the valley. I would then tackle the biggest hill of the day and descend into Soto de Luña, Okay, Peregrinos, I have an update for you. I just made it to Soto de Luina. This was supposed to be the end point of today, but looking at the weather forecast, it is supposed to rain pretty hard for the next couple days. It's only three o'clock, so I'm deciding to keep moving forward and see how many kilometers I can get today, hoping to get past the rain or to make the next few days a little bit easier. So let's keep going. Eye on the prize, I was determined to get as far as possible today. However, the Camino had other plans. After eight more kilometers of difficult hills and overgrown paths, I was reconsidering how much further I wanted to go. So when I fell upon the quaint village of Novellana, I decided to check into a hotel and call it a night. Gracias. On day 23, I would leave Novellana and arrive to Caravedo, covering roughly 18 kilometers and approximately 100 meters of elevation. I woke up and started walking out of Novellana. Little did I know that I was staying just a few kilometers away from one of the most beautiful highlights of the entire Camino, Playa de Silencio. This coastline looked like it came from a movie, with its pristine blue waters and jagged gray pillars that reached for the sky. Shores I won't soon forget. I continued inland through a patch of forest which seemed to be untouched. Its dark, dense nature provided an ideal situation for life to flourish in every nook and cranny. Once I reached Bayota, I noticed I had just missed the rain, but it wasn't long after that it finally caught up to me. Six kilometers later, I found myself entering charming Caravedo. After today's 16 kilometers, I was ready for a good meal and some good sleep. On day 24, I would leave Caravedo and arrive to Luarca covering roughly 16 kilometers and approximately 150 meters of elevation. 
Update Peregrinos, it is day 24. As you saw yesterday, it rained and it even hailed. I thought it was gonna be the worst day of the entire Camino, but it was actually my favorite. Everything just looks so beautiful and peaceful. Today, I am headed to Luarca, which is actually gonna be my last night in Asturias. The time has been amazing, but Santiago is waiting for me. I gotta keep going. The weather came in strong during the night, making this morning's departure from Caravedo pretty muddy. But despite the already soaked feet, I couldn't help but feel captivated by the raw beauty of this land. From rainbows to dancing cornfields, I couldn't help but to just soak it all in. The next few kilometers brought me to rural roads passing by a small local church. But the most picturesque views were yet to come. Nestled down in a beautiful bay, I descended upon Luarca. Since today's hike was short, I decided to roam around the city a bit. Luarca is easily one of the most attractive harbors in Spain. Small, colorful boats fill the port, surrounded by old, picturesque cliffside buildings and a beautiful river called El Rio Negro that splits the city in two. After a nice Spanish garbanzo meal, it was time to call it a day. The next morning I enjoyed my last sights of Luarca as I headed out of the city and set out on the next stage. On day 25, I would leave Luarca and arrive to La Caridad, covering roughly 29.6 kilometers and approximately 200 meters of elevation. Within the first two kilometers, I would come to the ruins of the Santiago Church. From here, the path would become fairly monotonous, but out of nowhere, a small, picture-perfect church broke up the monotony. I continued 10 more kilometers back into the beautiful forest, crossing small streams and admiring fallen foliage. I then came to Paraquia de San Salvador de Piñera, but only had a few moments to admire as time was passing fast and I still had many kilometers to go. Five kilometers later, I made it to Navia, where I couldn't resist the thirst for some delicious Asturian cider. I knew this was one of my last chances since tomorrow I would be leaving Asturias and entering Galicia. So bottoms up. I left Navia with not much daylight to spare and 10 kilometers to go. After beautiful sunset and a long walk in the dark, I entered La Caridad. So I just made it to La Caridad, which means day 25 is complete. And unfortunately, this is the end of episode five, but don't worry, there are two more episodes until we get to Santiago. And in the next episode, I enter into Galicia. If you have any questions about day 21 through 25 on the Camino del Norte, please hit me up in the comment box below. I would be glad to help you plan your Camino. Until next time, safe travels. Don't leave yet. There's tons of great videos to keep watching. More importantly, did you subscribe yet?